Hey guys, I'm Jerry Mitchell. I can welcome to this week's episode of The Right Stuff. And what I have here is Hodgdon propellants. They make a huge selection for the reloader. Give you an idea of what we have here. Uh, this is Clay's. When they, when, they, when they introduced Clay's some years back, it really changed the way people loaded shotguns. It's an ultra clean powder for shotgun, handgun loads. Tight group uh, pistol propellant. Uh, if you go to an action pistol match, I bet 90% of the people there are shooting tight group. And Varget, of course, if you own a, three, a 308 caliber, uh, 762 by 51 Varget pretty much rules the uh, that caliber. It's very good. It's a uh, extreme temperature propellant, uh, very consistent. H4350 is another one of their extreme powders, which means temperature insensitive. So if it's minus 30 out or it's uh, 80 degrees, it's going to have the same velocity. Uh, this technology is relatively new. It's uh, it's really changing the long range game. H335, guys, this is a 7, this is a uh, 556, uh, 223 propellant. I've shot a ton of H335. I started shooting uh, three gun. This is what I load, and I still load it on, on, on my progressive machines. It's a ball powder. It meters extremely easy, so when you shoot volume shooting like I do in relatively stable conditions, uh, H335 is the one to go to. Benchmark, oh wow, they got so many propellants. Benchmark is an extruded uh, extreme powder. It's a beautiful 223 556 propellant with match grade bullets. It does wonders. It's uh, and CFE is one of their new ball powders they make. It's an excellent uh, propellant in 556 with heavy bullets. Uh, H40 uh, 4895. Uh, that's one of the oldest powders ever. <laughs> it was it, it was a military grade powder back in the day for the uh, 30 caliber M M2 ammunition. Uh, this is the new improved 4895. It's a temperature insensitive uh, propellant. Uh, some of these powders like this new one here, this is what I've been shooting in my uh, my pistol the last few years in competition. This Winchester 244. It's a very uh, small charge weight. Uh, it has a uh, an additive that helps fouling. Uh, so it's consistent, doesn't take much powder. It helps keep your gun clean. I'm, uh, I'm kind of lazy, so the older I get, the more I like propellants like this. It's huge. So we got, give you an idea, we have ball powder here. This is H335, and it's a, of course, it's like the, what the name says, small ball uh, pieces. And uh, the extruded powder is more like a stick. So what they've done through the years, they've made extruded propellants in smaller pieces, so it meters a little bit better. better. But I'll go back to old school. I've got an old 303 British round here. I pulled a bullet on it. And it, of course, back then they used to put a paper wadding on top of the powder charge. But this is actually cordite for you guys that hadn't seen cordite before. And that's what was loaded in these propellants. So when you hear the old saying, you love the smell of cordite in the morning, that's what it looks like. So we're going to step outside and just put a match to some of this stuff and see what it looks like and have a little fun. All right, guys, I'm in a safe environment. I'm a trained professional. Don't do this at home. But I've got a little bit of H335 here. I'm going to touch it off and uh, see what it burns. And one thing about smokeless powder, the more you can find it, the more energy it generates. So when you burn it in the open air, it's not all that spectacular like black powder would flash. This actually kind of burns. So let's, let's touch it off. Relatively slow, but when you can find it in that 223 round, 3,000 feet a second. So I'll give you an idea. And here's some extruded propellant. We've got a little touch of that. Let's go ahead and light it off. That that was a little quicker. It all depends on the size and the pieces and what have you. And I've got some cordite on the end here. Let's go ahead and touch it off, see what it burns like. It's even slower. The one thing about cordite, it had a history of being very temperature sensitive and was also very erosive to the bore. Uh, kind of give you an idea. It doesn't even look like that would actually propel a, a projectile out of a rifle, but uh, used it for a long time. It was the go-to powder. So even up until 19, this ammunition was loaded in 1944, 303 British rounds. So give you an idea of some of the propellants available and uh, send some love to Hodgdon.